Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are taking a look and opening up this HP uh, Pavilion, Pavilion, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, box PC, and, and let's just like open it up first, and if you don't know how to open it up, one of these up, it's really straightforward, there's just a like, uh, there's just like a handle here, and like you can pull it and stuff, or you can use your hands to just slide on the panel, which I'm gonna be doing. And there you go, it just slides right out, and then you can just lift that panel. Okay, now that we have that aside, we're going to be working on cleaning this fan. So first we are going to disconnect the cable for it right here and we just pull it out like that. And first things is remove, remove the fan. And we have four Phillips head screws. I'm not sure if you heard that, but I'm very sorry if you did. But there we go, we got that first screw out. And we can use our magnetic thing, which was somewhere over right here, to get that screw out. And put it on our magnetic pad. I'll try to leave uh, my iFixit uh, magnetic pad linked in the description below. And, oh yeah, right, we have to use this old school screwdriver and we can get that screw out next is a screw right here And there we go, now we can use our magnetic screw screwdriver iFixit toolkit that I will also try and leave a description in the below to it. So if you want those tools, it's really helpful. And yeah, let's just get that screw out. All right, now that our fan is unscrewed, we can just remove it. And we are presented with a very uh, dusty heat sink. So now here's a latch and you like turn it like this way to towards the right. And then you can lift that out from the heat sink. And then you can slowly lift that heat sink by like just turning it a little bit. And there's our heat sink and some still kind of moist thermal paste. For a really old uh, desktop, that's, you know, pretty weird. Well, pretty surprising. And here is this like metal bar thing right there. And you like pull that up until you hear that and then you do it on the very side, and then you pull up on the very sides of this, because my, well, somebody told, I found, somebody told me that the pins are very sensitive, and you hold them on the side. So I did get a little bit of thermal paste on me, but yeah, that's how you upgrade the CPU if you want to on a, well, on a, desktop this old but anyways we are going to put this back on so you have to get the pins like aligned around like aligned correctly so this uh gold triangle goes to that part this t goes over there so like there's a t and a thing here and they go on this side and then you can just align the pins and then press down. Well, not press down. Let, like, just let the CPU fall in. And then we can put, put this latch 
like the way we did back down and then like we can like go ahead and clean it up if we wanted but not right now and that's a uh, dust pretty dusty heat sink so we are going to clean that out with a microfiber cloth actually I'm gonna go get a couple of keys I am back and we can push that PC up a little bit and then focus on this tiny heat sink. So we have our alcohol here. You can open the cap and put that in there. And there we go. If you think when you think it's enough, you I can just go around the thermal paste. And you can clean up the thermal paste if you want, but I'm not, because this thermal paste is not bad. There's just a lot of dirt and grime on here, which is dust. And look at that, that is so gross. But let's just get that gross dirt off. Some microfiber cloth. I'm not a microfiber cloth, a tweezer. Now we can just do the other side. And when you think you're done with it, you can go back and clean that. Okay, that should be good enough for this heat sink. Now, this side is also pretty dusty. But I'm going to do that with another uh, Q-tip. Oh, not this side, this side. And that is looking so much better already. Even though there's still quite some dust in there. It is looking a lot better. And there we go. Now that our heat sink is cleaned out. We can go ahead and clean this really dirty fan. So I am going to get a uh, alcohol in, uh, I should say, with isopropyl alcohol on it, just clean that uh, fan out. And already that fan is looking so much better. And like, if you have like a box PC this like old, I would recommend just open it up and like clean out the fans, you know. And I'd also recommend that with any like uh, device, you know, whatever, like, like, you know, like a PC, you know, personal computer. And I can't disassemble these fans like laptops, so we'll just have to stick this. Like, this side is so much cleaner. But, yeah. I wish I had a toothbrush to, like, clean it out. But 
I don't. And yes, cleaning up those edges made everything so much better. And we can clean out those blades with some more isopropyl alcohol. So I got some on my finger, but it should be fine. I'll just wash my hands after. But now you can just get straight back into the into cleaning that fan. And yeah. Like this fan was so dirty before and now it's like like so clean, so sanitary. And yeah, you know, we'll just clean up those wires, the wire. And there we go. This the fan is all much so much cleaner now. It's actually uh puts a bit of air. Yeah, but whatever, let's just put that heat sink back on, and I still have a little bit of dust on that little plastic thing up there, but whatever, let's just slide that giant desktop back, and then we can put our heat sink back on it. Oh yeah, there we go. And then we can put that little latch thingy back on. Alright, I think. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I have to get this to the right angle. Okay, I think that's the correct angle. Uh, nope, it's not. Oh, because the other side wasn't even attached. Okay, now we can put this side back on. Okay, this is a little hard to get on for some reason. Alright, that and that and I don't know how to get this on. Like this and Okay, I'm getting some help here. Yeah. There's some there's my help. Uh I got extra hands. All right, so yeah, there were there were the extra hands that I got help from, and I'm not sure, but I hope you saw that. All right. Okay, so we can screw the fan back on to the, the heat sink. And we can just get those screws in there and then we can just tighten them.
and then we can just keep on screwing that screw and we can screw the next screw well 15 minutes already um, okay yeah should have done it this way Okay, there we go. And now we can just screw in the last screw for the fan. Let's get it in there. Oops. I can just get it in there. Oh my god, I keep dropping everything. Alright. So now that we have that screw in, we can screw that screw in, and there we go. And now that we have that uh, back in that fan back in there, we can put our panel back on. Yay! Okay. Okay. So like, you can see these like clip things right here. They're, they're actually on the panel, too. The clips, you can see that one right there. And you just have to align them with the little holes on the thing. On the actual shell of the box, you see. And then you can just slide it in. And then, like, over there, there's, like, other clips. And then you just like push from the other, other end of it. And then boom. And there we go. That's how you uh, like can, you know, upgrade your uh, processor in like this very old HP Pavilion, Pavilion uh, box PC. So I hope you really, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and like hit that notification bell to get all notifications. And I'll see you next time.